Google drops the ball, but another division at Google picks it up and drops something incredibly cool. LTX Studio is shown to the world and Nvidia's CEO shocks everyone with future predictions. I'll show you one of the best upscalers there is and it is 100% free. Oh, and did you hear the joke about the wall? It's hilarious. I'm still trying to get over it. Introducing Genie, a foundation world model trained from internet videos that can generate an endless variety of playable worlds from synthetic images, photographs, and even sketches. Just look at this. It looks freaking amazing. So what it does, it can actually create games out of uncensored videos on YouTube. And that is actually a pretty cool deal just from one single image input instead of image to video you have image to video game you can use your favorite generative ai art generator like stable fusion mid journey dolly generate first looking image whatever you want that looks you know super cool and just run it through genie and get a game it's still only in internal research so you know can't use it yet but i'm sure there'll be a demo popping out soon if you want to check out more check the video description below Lightrix just announced LTX Studio. Let's check what it's all about. This is the future of visual storytelling. LTX Studio gives form to your ideas, bringing them to life. Just a handful of words can transform your concept into a story. Weave it into a compelling narrative. Can we make it a regular courtroom drama set in New York City? Sure. Then generate to elevate it into a grand production with music, dialogue, and sound effects. Stop. Yeah, I like it. So you can generate a whole video from one single prompt. Really pretty cool. Let's keep watching here. But can the car be red? You got it. We need an extra scene here. Simple. So I have some ideas about casting. Okay. On top of this, the storyteller generator looks pretty good. Not only does it add music, dialogue, sound effects, but uh, you can customize each scene's detail, like changing the car from green to red. You can generate any character you want from the casting option and LTX Studio will even create the storyboard for you. This looks pretty amazing. LTX Studio, Storytelling Transformed, just announced. Go check it out, join the waitlist, link in the description. At a recent conference, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang gave some really cool predictions for the future. So everyone keeps saying, you need to get the kids of today to learn programming. Well, not CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. Over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you, it is vital that your children learn computer science. Everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. And that's a pretty bold statement. And it's also probably true because the AI is probably gonna do all of our programming moving forward. So we are gonna need to understand and get to know how to teach the AI to respond to us and interact with us in a human way. Jensen Huang, you're probably right. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Are you sick and tired of paid upscaling solutions that isn't really hitting the mark anyway? Well, let me show you Sapir. Sapir is an open source project that you can use for free. It's probably the best one out yet. Just looking at these examples here, it is pretty freaking amazing. So looking at this pixelated mess, you get a fantastic looking image. Now, obviously, you don't need to have the, the lousy inputs like in, in the example here. If you have something at least a little decent, you're going to get a much better result. And they're actually saying revolutionizing image restoration with cutting edge large scale AI. And here they have a landscape image restoration from a low quality input and it just looks amazing. And one thing I noticed from these results is that they're actually true to the input, or at least fairly true. In some of the upscale and restoration uh, programs out there, it's messing up the image too much in a way that's actually, actually changing the output. And here, it looks, it really looks like the same person. This is free to use, so you can actually get started with this today. Now, it does require some pretty badass hardware, 
so you need about 30 gigabytes of VRAM so you should probably use RAM pod to, to get running with it but you know give it a few days and you can uh, probably run it on something even cheaper and here's a scene from one of my favorite games when I was growing up so if you know the, the game and the map comments below guys let's see who gets it first it wasn't long ago that Google dropped Gemini, formerly known as Bard, and it was a pretty cool generative AI service. However, now they're pulling everything back. They're saying it's embarrassing and wrong. Google admits it lost control of image generation AI. Just looking at the release of Gemini, it had some real potential. Now everyone was hyped about it, but now they released a statement saying Gemini image generation got it wrong, we'll do better. We recently made the decision to pause Gemini's image generation of people while we work on improving the accuracy of its responses. Here is more about how this happened and what we're doing to fix it. Here are some examples of if you prompt for portrait of a founding father in, of America. And a lot of people found this offensive and I'm gonna tell you why. What they tried to do is change it up from every other AI art generator where all the results are basically white men and white women. Uh, so they try to make it diverse. They kind of went overboard with that and they're now pulling everything back. And they keep saying here, three weeks ago we launched a new image generation feature for the Gemini conversional app, formerly known as Bard which included the ability to create images of people. It's clear that this feature missed the mark. Some of the images generated are inaccurate or even offensive. We're grateful for user's feedback and are sorry the feature didn't work well. We've acknowledged the mistake and temporarily paused image generation of people in Gemini while we work on an improved version. So long story short, they made it too diverse. Is that even a thing? Either way, People who are offended, they're pulling it back, they're reworking it, fine-tuning it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let's see when we get a new version of Gemini.